Hey everybody, it's Mickey. Believe it or not, the holiday season is just a few weeks away. Now I know this year's celebrations are going to be a little bit different. So today's video is the first in the series of videos that is gonna help us all get organized for the season ahead, do some prep work ahead of time to make the holidays a little bit less stressful and to create something special for our celebrations here at home. So if you are new here and you like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. Making plans to decorate the house for the holidays, you know that nothing gets me more motivated than a great Christmas decor haul. I headed out to Target recently because I wanted to see if our Target was getting in anything at the dollar spot that I had been seeing online. You know, like the little Christmas trees and the decorations and all those goodies. Our Target was just starting to get stocked up. They did have some of their Christmas trees, you know, the $5 ones. And I have to be honest, I wasn't so crazy about them. I really didn't like the shape of them or the color of them. The one thing that Target did have that I really loved were these little black houses. Now they're selling them in a set of three for $5. And I really think that they are very well done. I love the size of them and I love the look of them. I have a huge collection of those little ceramic houses that they've, you know, they've had over the last couple years. And I think these will be a nice contrast to mix in there, you know, down the center of a table or on an end table somewhere. I really think that these are cute and I'll probably be heading back to Target to see if I can find, you know, a couple more sets of these. So while I was in Target, I wanted to go over to the Joanna Gaines department, you know, the hearth in hand, um, to see what she had, her new ideas for the season. And that is where I got the rest of this stuff. I really think she had some great options there. And it really got my imagination going on how I want to decorate for the holidays. If you've followed me for a while, you know that I love pine trees. And that's one of the reasons why I always pick up a couple, you know, at the Target dollar spot. And that's why I was so disappointed when I didn't like them. But Joanna Gaines has these beautiful little trees and they are only $4.99. I mean, they could very well be in the dollar spot and I just love the look of them. I like the deep green color and I really love that they're in like a little, you know, metal bottom. They really look like they are planted in some dirt here and I think you can do so many fun things with these. They are small enough that you can add them almost anywhere, but they have enough of a presence that you'll, you know, you'll really be able to see them and decorate them if you want to, but you will find so many fun ways to use these. Now the other trees that I picked up were just like the other ones, but these are wrapped up in some of that brown craft paper with a little bit of twine around these. These also were only $4.99. Now look how cute those are. I mean, you can literally put these anywhere. Now with this style, I went ahead and I bought um, one of the larger trees. This one was only $9.99, which I think is really a good deal. And I think this will be a really nice arrangement somewhere in the house and I just can't wait to decorate for um, Christmas with these. And to be honest, you know, pine trees are my favorite tree so I will probably keep these out throughout the winter and maybe a couple here and there for the rest of the year as well. My favorite find of the day is this beautiful hearth and hand wreath. I think this is really beautiful, you know, because I don't usually buy um, pre-done wreaths. I usually make them on my own, but I have another wreath in my family room from hearth and hand that has these same little white berries on it. And it's one of my favorite wreaths. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is definitely coming home with me. I really love all of the pine that they use. They use a couple different kinds and then it had these very unique bells. 
So you can hang this, you know, on your front door and it'll sing every time somebody comes in the house, but I really think this is beautiful. And I looked up when I got home, they do have this online, so I'll put a link to it down below for you, but I highly recommend it. I think it is so beautiful, it is nice and full, and this too, it can literally go anywhere. I am probably, I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put this yet, so you'll have to look for it you know, later on in the season when I do my, um, my Christmas home tour. I picked up two other things when I was at Target. The one are the set of four napkin rings. These are just, um, you know, made out of, out of faux pine, and I love these because I really do a big, you know, pine tree theme throughout the house, and I thought these would be great, not only for the holidays, but, you know, for the rest of the winter, because I keep my little pine trees up all winter long. And I had been looking for something like this, and I just didn't find anything that I like. And these are nice and simple, and these will go really well on my um, on my holiday table. And I also got this table runner, which is also hearth in hand. I think this was $17.99. And I like this so much because I do a lot of decorating with the black and white buffalo check and the red and black buffalo check. And I thought this would go with both because it has the, you know, the white background with the black, and then it has this really pretty little red edging on it. So this will go on, you know, either my kitchen table Table or my dining room table throughout the season and also you know throughout the rest of the winter so that is my target haul for you today I am really excited to get started decorating for Christmas I know it's early but I think you know it's 2020 we need a little bit of something to um, keep those spirits up and I think decorating for Christmas is going to do that for me so check the information section down below and I will try to leave um, links to whatever that I can find on Target for you. The one thing I always get asked about during the holidays are my holiday binders. And I have my fall and my Christmas one here because I think honestly, we all kind of plan for both of these holidays together. You know, you prep the house and everything and Thanksgiving really does run into Christmas. So I have both of these binders out today. I thought I would just give you a little bit of um, you know, a peek inside of them. And I also have my take along planner that I always um, put together this time of year that comes with me wherever I go. So let's start with the fall planner because that is the one that we are really going to be concentrating on. It's the one that's going to lead us up to Thanksgiving. Now in this binder, I have um, a lot of things for Halloween, um, you know, just, fun food ideas. I used to, other than, you know, 2020 of course, I used to give a big Halloween party every year and this is where I would keep all of, um, you know, the recipes of the things that I would make, the cakes that I would make, you know, those kinds of things. So, the second half of this book is my um, Thanksgiving section and this is really how I plan out my Thanksgiving every single year. Like I have um, menu ideas, I have shopping lists, I have really a ton of recipes. I have the, you know, make ahead turkey gravy that I do every year. I have our cranberry mold, pumpkin bread, you know, all of those things that traditionally I make every year. And then in the back here, I have um, a pie crust recipe that I use. This is the chocolate pecan pie recipe that I make every year. And it, if you like pecan pie, this one is really awesome. Um, I have the uh, Libby pumpkin pie filling for our pumpkin pies, my upside down apple pie that I've shared before um, in a video. This is just a place that I can put all of those tried and true recipes that I've made over the years. And it's the ones that, you know, the family requests the most. So it's good to have a place to keep all of those that you can just pull out at the beginning of the season and, you know, plan your holiday. Now the one thing that I make for myself every year is, um, I just call it a Thanksgiving planner. And I just create it on, um, on the computer, print it out, and I keep it in this book um, just to help me plan out the meal. It's just a place where I can write down, you know, what time everything goes into 
um, the oven on the big day. It has um, like planning for the week before the holiday, the things that I have to do in the house, things I have to clean, platters that I have to take out. So what I have done is I have made a new one for this year that I want to share with all of you guys. So I have created it as a printable that I'm going to put links to um, in the description box down below so that you guys, if you want to, you know, you can print one out for yourself and we can plan our Thanksgiving together. So I, I created a November calendar and this is um, very helpful because we have a lot of birthdays and things um, within the family in the month of November. So it gives me a place where I can write all those things down. I have to be honest, I don't think we're going to be doing much of um, you know family get-togethers like we would normally, but it does give you a place to write down those things. I also created, created a Thanksgiving day schedule. Um, I have um, from 6 a.m. until 8 p.m. Uh, what things go into the oven, at what time or what you need to you know, take out of the refrigerator or the freezer at what time. Now this is really, really helpful. I use something like this every year and it really does keep me on track. I also have a Thanksgiving grocery list. Um, that you can print off as many of these as you will need and this year I've added a little circle here where you can check off things as you go and I have also have a turkey week schedule this is really helpful because um, you know every year I wax my floor on the same day before Thanksgiving, I clean the powder room, I, um, I get out the linens and make sure that everything is ironed, but I like to write everything out just so that I don't forget everything. And the last page is just the um, dinner menu. You can use this to write down who's going to bring what if you're having people over, but I use it just to write out all the things that I am going to make and what I need for it. So I am going to put this as a link down in the description box that you can uh, print out a copy of your own. And you'll have to tell me if you do and if you really like something like this, because I could put I could make available the um, Christmas planner that I always make for myself for you guys as well. So let me know in the comment section down below if this is something that you guys like and will use. The other way that I stay organized um, for the holiday season is every year about this time I create for myself a traveler's notebook. This is just a little planner that I put together that I carry with me wherever I go and it really does help me um, stay on track for the season. So I'll show you what I have inside here. So I just put this one together. This is the one that I have used um, probably the last three years I think. If I can um, find where I found this I will put it in the description um, bar down below. But inside I have um, just a calendar and it's not a pre printed one um, so that I can use it for whatever uh, month that I need so I can keep track of. Like I said, we have a lot of um, birthdays and different family celebrations throughout the next couple months. This is a new addition that I just put in um, last week. This is from Sweet Kawaii Designs, but I like to have um, a folder or two in here so that I can tuck in receipts. For once I start Christmas shopping, I can put in all the re receipts for the gifts that I buy so I don't misplace them. Um, there's also a notebook in here for lists, which I'm a very list-oriented person, so something like this really does come in handy to keep with me because you know you never know when you think of things, so you'll have some place to um, write all those little lists down for yourself. And then I always just have um, a little notebook in the back just to keep, you know, just to keep notes for myself. Sometimes, um, like when we would have, you know, really large gatherings, I'd like to map out, you know, how I'm going to set up the buffet, how I'm going to set up the um, dining, dining room tables, who's going to sit where, those kinds of things. So I really suggest making yourself a little book like this or just grab a notebook something small that you can keep in your purse or in your backpack so that you can have it with you the whole time and just keep track of things. It makes you, gives you the feeling of really being um, in control and the feeling of knowing that you're not forgetting about something important. 
So thank you all so much for watching today. Be sure to check the description box down below for the link to the Thanksgiving printable. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.